Alright, uh, my name is William Ackles. Eric Noreen. Eric Tosh. Greg Ford. And we did the company Ustream, uh, Web 2.0 company. Now we're going to do a quick uh, presentation again of how to set up a, uh, a Ustream um, a Ustream stream, I guess, would be the term. Um, as as uh, shown before, Ustream is a broadcasting site which can broadcast live TV on the internet. Um, and uh, this is what makes it a web tool company, is that it has streaming uh, video, and which is kind of cool. And it's actually really cool, because it wasn't able to do that before. Now to broadcast, you just simply hit the broadcast now. Um, Sign up. I'm already signed up, so I'm just look, signing in. Uh, you just put your username and password, like most sites, and you can just sign right in. I don't want to connect to Facebook. All right. Um, uh, or right, I'll just take it from the beginning and start up. What? Sorry, it keeps connect, trying to connect. All right, here we go. Um, if you sign in and you put, make an account, then you can have your video seen online here. And there's two buttons here, uh, start, start record and start broadcast. If you start broadcasting, um, it will, it's, uh, you can go to Ustream actually, all of you, and click, uh, and type in Bentley Show, and it will show you our broadcast here. Uh, and hopefully the sound too. Um, so that's just a quick demonstration of how to set up a Ustream account, and we can keep this going as, as uh, our presentation continues. Oh, yes. And uh, we chose it because the site because it's a great example of a Web 2.0 site, and it's in the current stages of where it could expand into the next big thing or it could fizzle and fade away. But regardless of the, direct, the direction, we want you to know more about what Ustream is. Okay, so we're give you a little background on Ustream. It was founded in the summer of 2006 by John Hamm, Brad Huston, and Dr. Guy LaFayer. Um, John and Brad, they went to West Point together, and they wanted to start a site that would, uh, would empower a new way of people to communicate and connect with like others from far away. Because you'd have people stationed in Iraq, and they want to connect with their families and communicate with them. So this allowed them to do that. Um, approximately, Ustream has 15,000 broadcasts a day, which is it's more than Fox, actually. Um, while at West Point, um, John and Brad, I believe that that um, college you know, really prepared them to lead and succeed, as you can tell by their website. Okay, so what is Ustream? Ustream is basically a, it's a live interactive video broadcast, broadcast um, platform. It's very similar to YouTube, but it's much more interactive. Basically, all you need is an internet connection and a webcam, and with Ustream software, um, you can communicate with like a global audience, an unlimited audience, anyway. Um, Ustream does one-to-many live interactive video, which is like one person broadcasting, broadcasting, and many people can go ahead and log in and watch. Um, you can watch specific broadcasts, sports broadcasting, talk shows, politics, anything, right? All right, so uh, this slide is about whether or not we found Ustream to be user-friendly. We decided it is relatively easy to use. Um, this is a screenshot of the page you would find if you want to sign up for the stream. It kind of walks you through the steps pretty black and white. I mean, anybody can do that. Um, the home page, where when you first log into the site, is a little bit cluttered and it's hard to separate advertisements from the actual site. Um, but they definitely are adequate instructions, so it's not that bad. Um, it's, very YouTube-like or like any modern website it has a search bar. It has most new videos, most recent new videos, so that definitely helps in its user friendliness. Um, is it the next big thing? We decided that it isn't. Um, there's a lot of sites that do exactly the same thing and nothing really sets you straight apart. This is a screenshot from uh, Justin TV, Justin.tv, which is basically the same thing um, that you know, does everything you stream can do. The same with Pulse Media and CamStreams.com. Um, YouTube.com can do everything this can do if you are willing to not broadcast it live and upload it when you come with it. So in that sense, YouTube is kind of a dominant for 
this morning for the expo. And we're gonna we're gonna jump in and show you here um, on the actual site uh, a few things that uh, are really killing Ustream. Um, on here you can see uh, the top rated or the most popular uh, videos, which is dogs suckling on other dogs, <laughs> uh, has 1.3 million. If you go to YouTube and look at uh, in the last month the most viewed, there are over two, maybe three pages of 1.3 million uh, hits just this month. And uh, on the second page, you're just hitting 1.2 million. So YouTube has a much larger following. Um, in addition, they're suffering from just plain bad broadcasts. Here's an example, uh, one that we found. Uh, it, it really shows the lack of quality that's coming through. Uh, yes, the, oh, we only have the sound here. Is there a place to plug it in, or? There's a plug on the same cable that you're putting in your computer. On the same cable here? Uh, this? Yeah. Uh, is it? Should we go on the only computer up to the lab just play for it? Okay. Uh, well, I, I, I'm not going to bother that. It's just basically these guys from the basement. Um, we got two guys from the basement, and they think they're funny, but it's 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 a really broad broad uh, spectrum you get there uh, of very lack of quality. Now, uh, also, I want to show the advertising. This is how they make their money. Uh, as you can see, they have the top and the side uh, covered in advertising, uh, much like YouTube. And also, much like YouTube, you'll get the uh, the pop-up on the video here. Um, it'll show in a second. There we go. Uh, five <laughs> days to puppy training, and they'll have that also. That's also uh, the same thing YouTube has. Um, but prim primarily, they make their money from advertising. Um, top and right side uh, are covered in it. Um, we're not aware of uh, how much they charge for advertising, uh, but we can assume that it's pretty competitive uh, based on the, uh, the people they have. They had uh, Quicken and other large uh, people, but uh, we're not aware of the charges, but especially uh, for the large events such as presidential debates and fundraising events, uh, those are two things that they, are, they specialize in. Now we'll go back to the PowerPoint here. What makes uh, Ustream Web 2.0 is because it's totally user uh, generated. Uh, users create the videos and there's even a instant message screen on the right side of the video where uh, anybody watching the video can comment on it, write what they think, and just chat with anybody else who's watching it. Um, Ustream also has RSS feeds where you can <coughs> connect your blog to it or so you can keep up to date with any videos that are being published on Ustream. And uh, some just the benefits of Ustream. Um, the live chat between users makes it much easier to collaborate and uh, you know, it expands the amount of knowledge or whatever you know, what you're talking about. And uh, it's also become a very easy tool to be used for education. Um, teachers can, for example, you know, stream their lectures live and um, lecture, uh, students no longer have to be in the classroom to see the lectures. Um, and it also opens up to a much more uh, expands the audience. And uh, like I said before, it's very user friendly. It doesn't require much download at all. And then where they, it, can, it can improve, uh, we thought it would be cool if um, on recorded broadcasts, rather than just chatting, you could also queue in and out of the broadcast and video chat with someone else who's watching the same broadcast or talk. And uh, we also thought it would be cool if you stream, if it was possible to create like personal networks where certain videos were only available to certain people uh, for whatever privacy settings.